So let's paladin heal some more ancient dragons. This time we have a red one and we, I believe, have two hard modifiers and an extreme, which is rotating chaos. Can be a bit annoying blocking your encounter powers so you can't heal, but it is what it is and you can generally live with it. You got your tab and you also got your at will. Red isn't, in my opinion, the hardest. Black usually is, depending on, I guess, the mechanics you get. But otherwise, my character really isn't optimized. I have made a build a while back, which I should be working towards, but there's just a few things that are pretty costly. Insignias, I have them on my DPS character, and I'm just a bit lazy sometimes to bother switching them over. Realistically, this isn't the hardest content. You can get by on pretty subpar characters. We can see, do we have our buffs? No, we don't. May as well chuck on some soup there and some flask of potency and let's go and make sure our tank ain't dying we can stick our tab on him there we don't have our encounter powers we do have our guarded prayers i'm just gonna oh i can't pop a heal on those guys because i have no encounter powers i need to reduce the volume one second let's reduce that volume or i can't hear a thing there we go pop a heal on that guy and the dps here Ideally, I just want to heal them one. At, great, my encounter powers are gone again. And what we're going to do, we use our daily on that guy. Awesome. And that guy over there, okay, he used the health potion. That's always helpful. Uh, try to keep this guy alive. Come on, give me my encounters back, could you? There we go. And this guy there, got him. Oh, but the dragon's flying off. I can restore our divinity. No panic. Everybody's, nobody died. Move through these ads. Generally not any trouble. This group is a random group. I just got it from the Dragon Hunter channel there. Just said that I could heal and they invited me. That's it. We move on to the next phase. I probably shouldn't rush in. I did it before last time on the red one when I wasn't recording and ended up getting bitten and dying. Okay, good. The tank took the bite there. Just pop a heal on him. Pop a heal on that DPS. We may as well put our circle of power down, heal you there, heal you over there, and you two here. He got bitten again, that's what you're going to watch out for. Got my guarded prayers, let's heal that guy. Guarded prayers essentially allows me to use my tab power, the divinity one. Oh, what's it called? Why did the guy die in the fire? You gotta move, man. Can't just sit in that. Uh, you know what I mean. So these are the two class features I use. Guard of Prayers allows you to use the Hand of Divinity without getting knocked around the place. So basically you don't get interrupted when you're doing like this. don't really need to do this now. But just to show you, he basically can't knock you. Like, okay, he can if he breaks your shield. And now the guy died over there because I didn't keep him at full HP. Oh dear. Of course. Okay, we'll just proceed onwards. The guy took two skulls. Why do you die twice, Mr. Clumsy? We're gonna enter our ads. Trinity's pretty low, but we're going out of combat phases here, so that'll probably fill up in no time as long as we don't rush straight into the boss. May as well stick my circle of divinity here and we should be okay. Keep those guys topped off. Nobody likes to have any bit of HP missing. Okay, good, they put an altar for him. Excellent. Rush in here. Anybody low? No. Okay, we need to watch out for this because those guys could get kicked out. All right, that guy wanted to stay on the other side. Sure, sure. Stay over there, man. I should totally be using my mount artifact. Forget about that all the time. Give him a little bit of a shield, please. Anyway, we use our tab here. Heal that guy. There we go. Since he got bitten, fairly tanky tank, I must say. I have he healed a lot worse. Oh well, there goes my encounters. Rip. Oh, we'll just use our daily on him. There we go. 0.5 million heal. Easy. Can pop a shield and heal over on those guys. On this guy. And on the tank again. Oh, this guy was sitting in the fire. Not advised. We can just attack the dragon in our downtime. Ugh. All so much CC, but it's okay. Gets bitten again. These guys are determined to sit in the fire and attack. Guess why not, if the tank ain't moving him. But that's it. Finished! Easy red dragon, under 7 minutes. 
Just two deaths on that one guy. One of them, I don't think it was my fault. He was just sitting in the red. The other time, sure, I could have made sure he was full HP before the dragon did the mechanic. Anyway, yeah, that's great. A greater shard of empowerment is probably the second one I've obtained in all the dragon hunts I've done. And that's it for the red one. Hopefully this is somewhat insightful and helps you guys. Just how I paladin heal. We'll be going through all the different types of dragons. So this is just the red one.